What's up guys, Yankee here and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can work with multiple branches on your Git repository using Git Worktree. So without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, I'll head on to my Git repository, uh, which is a project called Air Quality CLI that I have been working on. So normally what happens is you're working on a feature, right? So if I do git status, I have changed a file called readme.md and suddenly my project manager calls me and says there has been a small bug in production and I need to quickly fix it. So in this case, what do I do? I just do git stash and I save all of my current working changes to a stash. Then I check out to let's say a branch called hotfix. I do all of the changes uh, required to fix the bug. I push the code right and after I'm done. I'll move back to my master branch, then I'll just git stash pop and I'll have all of the changes that I have been working on earlier on in my repository. So as you can see, this is a bit long and kind of tedious process to go through all these changes. But with Worktree, uh, we can easily switch between multiple branches of our project uh, that are isolated in different directories. So you do not have to worry about, uh, you know, stashing your changes and popping it out to keep working on it. So let's see how Git Worktrees work. So to get started with creating your Git Worktree, what you have to do is Git Worktree. Add, and the name of the directory that you want to create uh, for that Worktree. So the name of the directory also relates to the branch that gets created on that directory. So if I do uh, minus minus slash hotfix, so I'm going to create a directory that is outside of my air quality CLI folder. So which means I'll be creating a folder called hotfix in open source directory with a branch called hotfix. Um, by default, it creates a git work tree inside your project directory, which I really do not like because I get confused with the names so with all my other application folders. So I prefer creating it outside of my current working directory. So if I do that, and if I do git uh, work tree and list, it's going to list there are two instances of my git work trees. So the first one is the one I am currently on, uh, which is on my home directory uh, inside open source and air quality CLI. And another one is inside of open source and a folder called hotfix. So if I need to go into this directory, I need to copy it CD and go into this directory. Uh, like I've said, the name of the directory and the name of the branch are the same. So you can also put a different branch name for this if you want. And let's say I needed to fix that production bug again. Uh, now I can do whatever I want here and push my changes without affecting any changes that were in my master branch. So if I want to switch back to air quality CLI, uh, the main work tree again, then I can do CD and get inside of it and start working on my readme file again. But this is such a hassle, right? Copying the path to all the work tree every time and seeding into it. So to tackle this issue, I created a small command line application called git work tree switcher with which you can easily switch between your git work trees with ease. So to give you a demo of it, I'll head on to my terminal again. Uh, it's a command called WT, uh, which stands for work tree. If I do WT list, it's going to show me all the work trees that are available for this project. And let's say I want to go to hotfix quickly, right? So I can just do WT and do hurt. So it's kind of like a fuzzy matching. So you can easily jump to a folder called hotfix. And if I want to go back to air quality CLI, I can just do air and you know, like half of the word and I'm back in my master branch in air quality CLI. So it's a pretty handy tool, right? So you can do WT list. And if you see, uh, here are some information that you can uh, work with to switch between multiple work trees. So it really makes it easy uh, to work with multiple work trees. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, how you can, you know, like change to a different branch uh, with a custom branch name. To do that, all you have to do is git uh, work tree add, and I'm going to name it, uh, let's say something interesting. But before I do that, I'm going to, you know, create a branch of my own. It's going to be called like interesting branch, maybe, right? So if I do WT list, so I have a work tree called something interesting and it has a branch called interesting. So if I do WT, you know, something 
okay wt something uh, i am inside that directory and the name of the branch is called interesting so let me go back to master again so yeah if you want to work by tracking a remote branch you can do so uh, very easily so to track a remote branch what you can do is git work tree add so i'm going to create a new branch called something right uh, and it's going to be one step outside uh, from my current working directory and it's going to be called something awesome right so i'm really bad at naming things for now yeah but that is the name i have thought of and it's going to track a branch uh, a remote branch actually called test so what i'm going to do is origin slash test so this is the name of my remote and this is the name of my branch it is going to track so if i hit enter uh you'll see that branch something set up to track remote branch tests for origin so now i am in sync with the remote branch called tests for my work tree called something awesome so i can go to wt uh some awesome right and uh, you know like uh, the name of the branch is called something and uh if i do git log uh, one line and it's going to show me the content of the test branches so test for git aqa data test initial test and something like that but if i go to wt master and do git log i will be shown only the logs that are in the master branch itself and once you are done working with your work trees uh, i mean you can reuse them as well but uh, you can remove them after it's done so Sadly, I haven't baked this feature into the WT CLI itself, but if you are looking to contribute to it, um, I'm open to contributions. Uh, so to remove this, all I have to do is git work tree, uh, remove, and the name of the work tree. And once you do this and do WT list, then all of the work trees are here apart from the something awesome work tree. So it's basically that. So that's it for this video guys if you want to see a return version of this tutorial you'll find the link uh, to the article in the description section below also if you want to try out wt uh, command line cli to quickly switch between git work trees i'll also leave the link in the description below so if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming out with more cool contents in the future uh, till then i'm yankee signing off